In this short video I'm going to share with you some footage about building my own hexacopter. This is the DJI Flame Wheel F550 and these are the contents inside the box. 8 8 in props and a total of 8 10 inch props. A really nice quality. I need 6 propellers so there are two spare parts. Here we have the motors. Nice red color, 920 kV. Six of them. Let's set it aside. Here are six ESCs, 30 amps. Looks nice. And a total of six arms, four white and two red. The red arms are for the front of the hexacopter. A bag with some velcro tape, a wrench, and some wires, and some double sided tape, two bags of screws, good quality screws, I have to say, and an upper plate and a lower plate. I'm going to solder all the wires on the bottom plate on the lower plate and here you have an overview of all the contents inside the box except the 10 inch props first I'm going to assemble all the motors on the arms and I'm using a tiny tiny bit of thread locker to make sure they stay on the arm so nice and tight here we have it done. Time to get some soldering done, getting some flux on it, and I'm planning to make a very large, big, solid soldering connection on it. Take a look. This is how it looks like. Really nice, isn't it? Time to solder the ESCs on it two already and then we have all the ESCs and the main wire wired and soldered to the bottom plate. Assembling the arms also a tiny bit of thread locker on it It, look, it doesn't look very stable, but I will promise you when I'm mounting the upper plate, it's going to be a rock solid hexacopter. Connecting the ESCs, all the motors will rotate clockwise, but I'm going to change it later. This is the box with the NASA M light controller. In the white box is a GPS module. This is the NASA controller itself. A bag with the VMU of the VZEN, I have to say, VZEN, VZEN module. And a bag with a lot of wires and a USB cable. Let's get it out. USB. I'm going to control this hexacopter with the Spectrum DX6i but this one was a DOA one channel wasn't work, working on my receiver so I changed that for a DX7S you will see that in uh, part 2 I had a problem with connecting all the wires to the AR6220 because each of the wires had a tiny plastic nose on it and I had to cut them off with a knife so it will uh, fit in a receiver but as you can see it worked pretty well first time powering up the hexacopter and I directly noticed something that one of the channels of my remote controller does, didn't work. 
Well, channel 5 did work, but the AUX didn't. So I replaced it with the DX7S, as you will see in part 2. Thanks for watching, guys.